And you know, what I want to describe for, for everyone out there, and you men included, so you know kind of what goes on with women and how we, you know, are all put together inside and how this can happen. You may not know how this all happens. You may know now, but everyone out there doesn't. So I am going to show you how different sort of uterine anomalies can happen in a woman. Okay, first we start with how it is normally. Basically, you have one uterus in the pelvis, and you have the ovum, you ovulate, the sperm comes up and goes, hey, good looking, let's get cooking, and <laughs> bam, you've got a baby, all right? But what can happen with a woman who has, um, and then basically you're gonna have one baby in that uterus, and that's the normal, that's the pregnancy that goes on with most women. But when you have two uteruses, Basically, what can happen is when you're developing, you have two tubes, two hollow tubes, and they come together to form one uterus. And what can happen is instead of it forming one uterus, the septum be between that doesn't close. So you get two uteruses. Now, you can have many variations on that. You can have just the septum. You can have one uterus or a, a unicorn type of uterus, or you can have a bicornuate uterus. And also, this can extend down into the vagina and the cervixes. You can have two cervix, you can have two vaginas, you can also have double bladder and other parts of the renal system. So this can double a lot of different ways. But then what happens when you have this uterine didelphus or two uteruses, is basically you're gonna ovulate from either side, the sperm's gonna come together, and you'll get a baby in either uterus, okay? And that's what happened with Andrea. And it, this was just a miracle and very fantastic. And she had a wonderful delivery. And this is what happens with the uterine digophilus. And coming up, Andrea and Miguel's twins make their television debut right here in our studio. So stick around.